So this is my Windows 8 tour. Um, I've just got the beta installed. I'm um, going to take you through a tour. It's a bit late. I have to start by saying the new Windows 8 logo I'm very, very fond of. Um, okay, so we have the lock screen here. Um, it's designed for tablet, you have to swipe it up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put my password. I have to say, I really like the new blocky design um, as well as the colours. Okay, so it's going to take a little while to log in. Um, this is the new start menu, it's sort of tablet based. Um, you can pull it around. Um, you can imagine on a tablet it's going to be quite easy to hit these with your fingers. Um, on first look, the colours look really nice. We don't know how it's going to work in a business. Press the start key on your on your thing and you get on your keyboard and you go straight to the desktop. Um, just as the one we've seen in Windows 7. Windows 8 is based on Windows 7, so it's going to seem very familiar. I'm just going to go into one of the apps here. Um, this is the Maps app. Um, it's going to load a preview of it. It's pretty much Google Maps, but not Google. It's going to be Microsoft's version, which is Bing. I don't think it's functional yet. Um, well, that's definitely not where I am, so it's either not accurate or not working correctly. Um, okay, hit the Windows key. Go back to the Start menu. Uh, this is Mail. Probably going to be using Outlook, um, but it's a lot of Windows 8 is tied to your Microsoft account. It's like they're trying to get you tied into Windows Live once again. Um, another weather app. I really like the colour of this one. I can't get enough of the colours. It's going to really brighten up the office. Uh, the weather app looks pretty flush there. It's taking a little time to load. It? It's a bit slow. Um, Internet Explorer, I really like that colour. Um, I don't know what Internet Explorer version this is, but it certainly looks slightly different. As you can see it's really tablet based. Um, I'm, as I said once before, I'm not, I can't really see the benefit of business users upgrading to Windows 8. Um, it's based on the architecture of Windows 7. But I'm sure there'll be many people that like to keep up to date. Um, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and um, finance another built in app that you get when, when you have Windows first installed. Um, you can slide it from left to right. Um, it kind of feels like an iPad feels when you you tug them across, or you can use the scroll bar at the bottom um, if you're on a laptop or, or a desktop like I am here. Um, I have to say the the, the interface is, looks stunning. Um, really can't get enough of it. But these apps here are designed by Microsoft, so they're going to run flushly with with the operating system itself. Uh, let's go into the Photos app. Um, you can see here it pulls them down from your Facebook and stuff. I haven't tied it up at the moment, but you can see how that would work. Okay, what else ones we click on? This is the video, I think this is gonna be very similar to yeah, it wants us to sign up with Microsoft account again. Um Windows Ace can be very cloud based, so a lot of your stuff's gonna stay in the cloud. So you can stay with your live account, stay um logged in. Um, and your stuff's probably going to be on SkyDrive, which is okay for those of you with a good broadband connection, but those of us not, it's going to be slightly different. Solitaire, I wonder if the most important part of Windows. Oh, don't get that on the old one. Solitaire, oh, it looks a bit more a bit more 3D, it's had a bit of a refresh. Seems to be what I spend most of my day doing. Yeah, I've never really been that good at Solitaire. Uh, back to the start menu once again, this is sort of the hub. Um, go to the desktop, you can see browsing through your directories here. Um, C drive, still got your x86, your 64 bit one there, because this is a 64 bit version. Um, your user files looking exactly the same as Windows 7, with your contacts, desktop, downloads, favorites, documents, etc. Uh, the folder structure is exactly the same. Um, I do like the background, uh, I'm, I'm a really big fan of the Windows 7 background. Um, control panel, again, built on Windows 7, much the same. They might change this when they actually come to release it, but as it stands, very, very similar. Um, reader, this is going to be sort of, uh, again, tablets, sort of like your iBooks on your iPad. Okay, music. I don't know if they're allowed to stream down from it or trying to do an iTunes alternative. Um, Windows Media Player um, for music has never been the best one. Um, remote Desktop, you've got a big feature here. Let's see if it works. I'll just see if I can remote onto my server. Um, it puts in the credentials. It looks a lot nicer. No, didn't work. Let's try that again. Okay. So 
officer or backslash administrator. Um, maybe that my my server, which is running server 2008 R2, um, perhaps isn't. No, maybe it doesn't accept incoming connections from server uh, from a Windows 8 PC as it stands. Um, so I hope I've shown you enough of Windows 8. Um, just starting to get to grips with it. Um, I really like the look of Windows 8, um, and I look forward to the future build of it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.